In this video, you will see the 10 best places to visit in Rome, plus two bonus suggestions at the end of the video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. The suggestions are based on our many exciting trips to Rome. So here they are, our top 10 picks. Number one, Circus Maximus. The Circus Maximus is an ancient Roman chariot racing stadium and a place of mass entertainment. It was the first and largest stadium in ancient Rome and could seat over 150,000 spectators. The site is now a public park. Number two, Colosseum. The Colosseum is the largest amphitheater ever built and is made of concrete and stone. Construction was completed in the year 80. It was designed to accommodate about 80,000 visitors. It was used for gladiatorial contests, public spectacles, animal hunts, executions, reenactments of famous battles and dramas based on classical mythology. Earthquakes over time caused extensive damage to the structure. Number 3. Roman Forum The Roman Forum is a plaza surrounded by the ruins of several important ancient government buildings right next to the Colosseum. The Forum was the center of daily life in Rome. For example, elections, public triumphs, criminal trials, public speeches and commercial affairs were held there. The Roman Forum developed organically over many centuries. 4. Altare della Patria the Altare della Patria is a monument built in honor of the first king of unified Italy, Victor Emmanuel. This largest monument of Rome was controversial from the get-go. Its construction destroyed much of the Capitoline Hill and medieval neighborhood. The terrace of the building offers an amazing panoramic view of Rome. Number 5. Pantheon. The Pantheon is a former Roman temple and is now a church. It is the best preserved ancient Roman monument. The word Pantheon is a Greek adjective meaning honoring all gods. The oculus at the center of the building is the main source of natural light. It is truly a majestic building. Number 6. Trevi Fountain The Trevi Fountain is one of the most famous fountains in the world. Legend has it that whoever drinks the water of the fountain, from which a coin springs, will be guaranteed to return to Rome. No wonder we were always in Rome. Number 7. Spanish Steps The Spanish Steps is a monumental stairway of 135 steps built in the 18th century by a French diplomat who wanted to connect the Spanish Embassy and the Trinita de I Monti Church. As the widest staircase in Europe, it quickly became one of Rome's major attractions. Every spring, part of the steps are covered with flowers. Number 8. Villa Borghese Villa Borghese is a landscape garden containing several buildings and villas, museums and other attractions. In 1605, they began transforming this former vineyard into extensive gardens. The park was redone in its present form in the 19th century, in the English style. The city of Rome subsequently acquired the property and turned it into a public park. Number 9. Castel Sant'Angelo Castel Sant'Angelo was initially commissioned by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as a mausoleum for himself and his family. This amazing round-shaped building was later used by the Pope as a fortress and castle and is now a museum located just outside Vatican City. Let's not forget the famous Passetto, a secret passage that connects the castle with Vatican City, used by the popes in times of danger. Number 10. Vatican. Although Vatican City has been an independent state since 1929, it is located within Rome. The Vatican has been the pope's residence since 1377. Don't forget to visit St. Peter's Square and the Basilica if you want to see the Vatican Museums, where you will also see the Sistine Chapel. Make sure to enter from a different street. It's totally worth it. Number 11, Piazza Navona. Whoa, wait guys, you're not doing the top 10. Yes, I've already reached the top 10, but since Rome is such a special place, it deserves another one. Piazza Navona is a square located in the heart of Rome. It is built on the site of the ancient Stadium of Domitian and is surrounded by beautiful Renaissance and Baroque buildings, and it features magnificent fountains. And here are the bonus suggestions we promised at the beginning. The sculpture called the Fountain of the Four Rivers is located in Rome in the center of Piazza Navona, in front of the church of Santa Agnesa in Agone, built to a design by Borromini, and was conceived and sculpted by the sculptor and painter Gian Lorenzo Bernini between July 1648 and June 1651, commissioned by Pope Innocent Anka in the heart of the Baroque period, during this artist's most prolific period. A legend, still very popular today, is linked to the rivalry between Bernini and the other great master of the Baroque, Borromini. It is said that the statue of the Rio de la Plata holds up its arm to protect itself from the possible collapse of the bell tower or dome of the facing church of Sant'Agnese in Agone and to support its remains. Similarly, 
the statue of the Nile covers its face so as not to have to see it. In reality, the covering of the head is due to the fact that when it was made, its sources were not yet known. This is a clear historical anachronism. Since the fountain was built between 1648 and 1651, while the church of Sant'Agnès in Agona was begun by Borromini no earlier than 1652. Bonus number two for pyramid-obsessed ears. Did you know that Rome has its own pyramid that is over 2,000 years old? The Pyramid of Cestius is an ancient pyramid located next to Porta San Paolo, the ancient city gates of Rome. It was built as a tomb for Gaius Cestius Epulo, a member of the Epulonis religious corporation. Since 2015, the pyramid has only been open to the public on certain days. Bonus number three, the Mouth of Truth. The Mouth of Truth is a marble mask in Rome. It probably depicts the face of a sea god. Historians are not entirely sure what the original purpose of the disc was, but legend has it that if you lie when you put your hand inside it, the mouth will cut off your hand. Plus a super, super extra bonus Villa d'Este. Villa d'Este is a 16th century villa in the town of Tivoli, about 45 minutes by car from Rome. It is famous for its terraced hills, the Italian Renaissance garden, and especially for its profusion of fountains. It is now an Italian state museum and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Of course, there are many other things to see in Rome, such as the Baths of Caracalla, Piazza del Popolo, Tiba Island, and many others. We have created a Google map with all these suggestions. Check the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload new videos every Wednesday. Bye.